so hi hello everyone welcome to the welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to uh, perform a landsat 8 cloud masking using google earth engine so how to remove a cloud contamination from a landsat 8 image using google earth engine so let's get started so first let me import a landsat 8 collection tire 1 draw scenes so now let me search by landsat 8 collection 1 tire 1 draw scenes so now let me uh, select that specific image so this is an image we required that is USGS Landsat 8 Collection 1 Tire 1 Draw Scenes. So now let me click this. So now it gets details of, of this image. The above description, bands, the different bands that is available in the Landsat 8 and the image properties. So we have our image properties, descriptions and uh, so now let us uh, import. Now close this. So now we can clearly able to view that. Our Landsat 8, uh, Landsat 8 collection tire 1 and collection 1 tire 1 raw image has been imported into our Google Earth Engine. So now let us let me change this variable name. So let me rename this. So now I have renamed as Landsat 8 raw. So it is a raw scene. So for that, it define this variable. So now we have now imported our Landsat 8 collection tire 1, collection 1 tire 1 raw scene into our Earth Engine. So to remove our cloud contamination, all we have to do is first we need to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So in order to uh, remove the cloud contamination of the specific country. So for that I defined a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection USDOS LSIB simple 2017. So this specific code will insert our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So next we are uh, defining with a specific uh, so to for the in order to uh, remove the cloud contamination of that cloud masking for that specific country or regions for that we defined a variable called ROI that is region of interest so equals to countries dot filter double dot filter dot eq countries name so the specific country called Sudan so next we have to set a visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image so we are going to set a true color composite for our Landsat 8 image so for that we defined a variable called true color visualization visualization equals to with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.3 and the bands we are using in from the Landsat 8 image we are specifically using band 4 band 3 and band 2 so which is a which is a true color composite so we are using red blue and green so next we have to define our algorithm so so this is a specific this is the specific algorithm that is used to remove our cloud contamination in our Landsat 8 image so now let me first define our variable called Landsat draw. Here the Landsat draw refers to our Landsat 8 image. So equals to uh, that is ls that is l8 Landsat 8 raw dot filter bound. So we are filtering this specific study region that is ROI that is our region of interest. So refers to our specific uh, country called Sudan. So in order to remove our cloud contamination, we are define we are using the specific algorithm to remove that. So for that we defined a variable called composite equals to double dot algorithm dot lancer dot simple composite. So next we are filtering this uh, with a specific time period. So for that we define collection. So ls uh, l8 raw refers to our Landsat 8 image dot filter for the specific time that is from 2017 January 1 to 2017 December 31st. So now to add this layer we are defined map dot add layer composite so composite here refers to this specific variable so we are applying this algorithm to remove our cloud contamination so composite dot clip roi so region of interest that is our sudan we are referring to this specific study region and uh, we are set a visualization parameter that is true color that is true color this so refers to this specific variable so this variable where we defined our so visualization parameter and output the layer name and layer name as landsat composite now to center this layer we define map dot center object map dot center object roi here it refers to region of interest the, that is our study region sudan so with a specific zoom level of 6 so now let us run this code now we should, let's visualize our landsat 8 image so go to the option called uh, run script and click run script.
So now let us visualize our Landsat 8 image of Sudan. Let us check the how it's working. So this algorithm will remove over all the cloud contaminated pixels in the study region. So now it is uh, the Landsat 8 image being loaded into our Earth engine of Sudan. This is our study region, Sudan. So this is our uh, Landsat 8 image of this study region. So now let us visualize all the part of the study region. So we can clearly able to view that all the cloud contaminated pixels has been uh, removed from this Landsat 8 image. So there is no cloud contamination. So in this part of the study region, so one side of the towards the north of the part of the study, northern part region, it is completely of arid region and fewer vegetations have been observed in the southern parts of this region. Very few amount of vegetation being observed. So now let us uh, convert to go to a satellite mode. So let us see the visualized satellite image here. So let me turn this off. So we can clearly able to view that. So we have our, we have a, we have imported our Landsat 8 image without any cloud contamination. So now, uh, in this video, I have shown you how to remove the cloud, uh, cloud contaminated uh, cloud pixels in Landsat 8 image using the specific algorithm in Google Earth Engine. So I've shown you how to import our country's boundary layer, set visualization parameter, and how to set this algorithm, and last, how to add this layer into Earth Engine. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And the quotes will be given in the description.